It occurs to us here at Eldritch Theatre that some of you are under the impression that because this is a play, to participate as an adventurer in the deadly doom of the dungeons of Duodenum, one must be an actor, or at the very least a show-off. And if you think that, well, stop. It, it isn't true. But the prime requirement isn't a long stage resume or uh, access to a limitless supply of colorful scarves. It is you and your brain. Don't worry about silly voices or being hilarious all the time. We're not casting a play. We're telling a story. And to tell that story, all we really need, all we really want, are people to join in on the storytelling. Side note, you, you will be interacting a great deal with puppets, and no one will really, really be looking at you. Puppets are super interesting. Being an adventurer is more akin to reading a choose-your-own-adventure book. Only in this instance, you are reading it with a few other people. Those who are watching the show are, are hidden away in their homes, picking popcorn from their teeth and happy to finally be watching something that isn't on Netflix. We've written... A tale, but the success of the story doesn't hang on how good your Scottish accent is. If you've got one, cool, that that can be your jam. But but, as an example, doing a Sean Connery impression and saying your character is doing one are equal, because we're using the rules of Dungeons and Dragons to add an element of chance to the proceedings. Dice, <laughs> a roll of the dice will decide if you're good at it. So, take that, rich little. So come, come now, play in the deadly doom of the dungeons of Duodenum. And remember, you do not need to be an actor to be an adventurer. Just bring you and, and, and a webcam and a decent internet connection and a computer. But other than that, oh, uh, and, and, um, and a million dollars in unmarked bills. Other than that stuff, you're golden. <laughs>